Imagine a world where billionaire Elon Musk owns Google. How would that affect our lives? Would it be a better or worse future? The surprising news has spread like wildfire and is the subject of the moment. Here on the screen you can see the Google Trends chart for Elon Musk buys Google. But is this news true? On this video, let's embark on a journey to discover the fundamentals of this bombshell information. We'll investigate all the evidences and speculations to then uncover the secrets behind the story. Is the news true or just a well-crafted rumor? Watch until the end with us and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell for all notifications. And we appreciate you leaving your likes since it helps a lot with the channel's growth. Powerful entrepreneur Elon Musk is known for his ambition and his bold moves in the business world. But the purchase of the world's largest search engine, Google, certainly would be his boldest move of all. Although it seems unlikely, we cannot underestimate the billionaire's ability to carry out surprising and innovative negotiations. Although he recently lost the title of richest man in the world, he still owns an admirable net worth of $164 billion and has shown its strength through its recent acquisition, such as the purchase of Twitter. And by the way, the acquisition of Twitter by the visionary Elon Musk was one of the most remarkable and talked about recent moments in the business world. With the acquisition, he invested more than $44 billion in promised to transform the social network into a space for freedom of expression, promoting the diversity of ideas and opinions. So this purchase was not only important because of the size of the deal, but also because of the social and political impact that it aims for. Musk says he intends to shape the social media platform into a freer place for all kinds of comments, and he has even warned that he will reverse Donald Trump's permanent ban on using Twitter. This approach by the billionaire was criticized by some experts in the field, claiming that such openness to speech on Twitter could greatly exacerbate the amount of toxic content and misinformation that would affect political and social debates around the world, to the extent that if world leaders realize they have that space and it's not moderated, they can push to see how far they can go, said David Key, professor of law at the University of California, who has worked with the United Nations on free speech issues. On the other hand, some argue that Musk should continue as CEO of Twitter to continue fighting for people's right to express themselves. Despite all these agreements, in the second week of November 2022, shortly after acquiring Twitter, companies shared the hate speech levels remained within historical norms, representing just 0.25 to 0.45% of tweets per day that out of hundreds of millions of tweets. In addition, the daily growth of users of the social network reached historical heights during the billionaire's first week as owner of the platform. But he has set some very ambitious goals for his new company that he intends to transform into an app for everything. In one of his presentations for investors, he said that Twitter could reach $26 billion a year in revenue and that it could have 931 million users by 2028. Prior to that last year, the company had reported revenue of $5.08 billion in just over 200 million users. It looks like that only the purchase of the platform by the billionaire has already caused the active users to increase significantly. In a few days, as the owner of the company, Elon Musk launched several tricks to start making Twitter profitable. Its first strategy in search of greater revenue for the social network was the launch of Twitter Blue, a subscription plan that costs $8 a month to verify users. In just five days, it won almost 140,000 people who were already paying for the benefit. Another proposal made by Musk would be to create fees so that users could have exclusive materials like photos and videos from the creators and celebrities they follow, and this way influencers could profit from the platform, and obviously a part of the revenue would go to Twitter. This idea tends to be executed as it has a great way to engage the community and still generate revenue for users who have a large number of followers within the social network, motivating them financially to embrace the concept. With this brief explanation of how Elon Musk is revolutionizing Twitter, it is already clear that the billionaire does not play a Around when it comes to transforming a company so that it is more profitable and more beneficial to all. I could go on about how he's done this in his other big businesses like Tesla, SpaceX and Starlink, but that would take hours. He has the knowledge needed to lead anything that he's part of to a never-ending success. Would Google be in for the next challenge? Google is one of the most important and influential companies in the world. We can't even measure how much it affects people's lives every day, taking information and facilitating the life of the population around the entire planet. Not not to mention the other services that the company provides. Mostly known by its internet search engine, Google is so big and powerful that through its services, it is present in almost everyday aspect of our daily lives. To clarify, it can cite some examples. Gmail, Google Maps, Google Chrome, Drive, YouTube, Google Translate, Google Photos, Android, and Google Meet. You've probably used or heard about all of them, haven't you? And how big would a company be with so much influence over every single person in our planet?
Founded in 1998, Google has less than 30 years of history, but even though it is so new, it has been leading the market and being considered as one of the most successful and valuable companies in the world for a long time. It is noteworthy that it was named by Forbes as the most innovative company in the year of 2019. All this brings Google to the incredible market value of approximately $1.2 trillion. In summary, Google is an incredible necessary company for our daily lives. It is easy to note how essential it is to each of us. If you are looking for information, communicating with friends, or simply moving around the world, Google is very likely to be helping in making your life easier and more connected. Therefore, the company deserves all the prestige and respect and value it has. And now, let's get to the main part of the video, but first, I want to remind you your subscription to the channel and your like on the video is so important. No more delays, the time has come to reveal the truth about the big question that everyone has been asking since the beginning of the video. Has Elon Musk really bought Google? In short, the answer is no. Despite our team's tireless searches for any indication of an acquisition of this size, it was not possible to find any reliable source that proves that statement. Coldly analyzing the numbers we mentioned during the video, you can come to the conclusion that there is a very big difference between Musk's equity and Google's market value. Even with the billionaire being one of the richest people in the world, with his estimated fortune at over $160 billion, all that money is far from the amount needed to buy a company as giant as Google. Such an operation would cost over a trillion dollars, so it is practically impossible. Until the moment we recorded this video, Musk didn't buy Google and didn't even come close to doing so, considering the difference in values between the parties. But then, how did this rumor come about and spread so quickly? The answer is, the internet is amazing, but it is an extremely easy place to spread fake news. With a quick search on Twitter on the subject, we can see several tweets affirming the purchase of Google by the billionaire and propagating this false rumor resulting in a great cordless phone that leads people to believe something that is not true. Another reason that maybe fueled the story even more is the fact that in November 2022, Apple and Google disagreed on the new policies adopted by Elon Musk for Twitter. The idea of creating greater freedom of expression on its platform makes Twitter more at risk of violating company application rules, which could lead to Musk's newest acquisition being banned from digital applications in the Apple and Play Store. The billionaire even further inflammated the subject by criticizing the rates of app stores on his social network, Twitter, which was no longer doing well financially when Musk announced his purchase. That could have serious problems if its application was banned from the Google and Apple stores. All this information created the idea that Elon Musk could buy Google to solve this problem and go head-to-head -head with Apple once and for all. Within this scenario, the acquisition of Google would be a mastercard for the billionaire to win in the store. But we already saw that this will not be happening at the moment. But make no mistake, it's more than proven how much Musk can unfold to get what he wants. And as we've noted other times, he's capable of doing things almost no one believes possible. For now, this story of the billionaire buying Google is just a well-crafted gossip. What if, for some reason, he decided to face Google in a game of chess where it deprives the company leadership? Would he be able to overcome the difference in resources and win the game? He has the willpower and determination, but will that be enough to beat a player as powerful as Google? The answer is unknown, but one thing is for sure, this would be an exciting match to watch. And you, what do you think? Leave your comments and don't miss our next video.